This part of the show is called Finish the Sentence. I hate it when niggas act like bitches. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> In case you don't know, you won't know. You inside the GGN News Network with your host with the most, Nemo Holes. You got to be here. And I got a special guest in the house right now. My homeboy from back in the days, West Coast legend, Mr. X to the motherfucking Z. What's good? Exhibit. Yeah, that. AKA Mr. Joyner, because you acting now. <laughs> you going bodyguard hard on screen. I see you in movies with, uh, with real Actors, you ain't in, you ain't in the movies with no rappers. I audition, man. Yeah, I can't. I don't want no breaks. You know what I'm saying? I want to okay. go in and be respected. So it wasn't like as an actor. It so wasn't I like okay, in. we won't exhibit the rapper nah. to be in our movie because we like his raps. It was like nah, you had to go down there and really like read for the part. Yeah, and... yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to be competitive. You know, I just finished the movie. It's called uh, Code Code Name Geronimo, mm -hmm. and uh, we filmed it in uh, New Mexico, and uh, it's about the raid on Bin Laden's compound. What? Yeah, yeah. So I was jumping out of helicopters and shit. Oh, so that's some that's some like high paced yeah, yeah, yeah. action shit. Yeah, yeah, shooting and you know, running through. But uh, that's to me, that's the kind of nigga you is on screen. Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm when yeah. I seen you in that uh the other movie, was it Triple X? Yep, yep, Triple X. I was Derail. Like, that shit right though, Derail was stupid. Yeah. That was hard. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. remember I told you about that when you did that one and that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even though they killed your motherfucker. <laughs> I love the way you died in the motherfucking movie. You know, some niggas don't know how to die. Nigga, you died like a motherfucker. I think I almost cried. They killed my nigga, man. You rotten motherfucker. Why couldn't he live? Shoot the nigga in the well, leg. That was good. That was good. Yo, it's a funny story about that. You know, I took my dad with me over to uh, London where we actually filmed it. And, uh, you know, it was his first time on a set. And we ended up, you know, doing a take. And it took an hour to set the squibs mm. to, to get shot. So when I was, uh, you know, in the scene and, you know, we had rehearsed it and blocked it, you know, my dad came in from the trailer to see the shot. So it was dead quiet, silence, you know. And uh, they started the scene, you know, run down the hall, kick in the door, start fighting with Clive Bowen. He pulls out a gun, I pull out a gun, he starts shooting, he shoots me. And then I fall and, you know, I'm sitting there, you know, going, you know, yeah. putting my last breath out. And my dad screams out, oh, how unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I want to know, and I think what the people want to know is, you know, how did you get to the, to the point where you are right now? What was your background as far as getting into, introduced to the hip hop game? Who gave you your first start? Man, uh, that's easy. Um, when I first, you know, started making music, the first people who put me on was King T and Alcoholics. The King T? King T. The yeah. one that sang this song, bass. Yeah. <laughs> to make your heart triple. Uh -huh. I know you remember back when I used the real silver but I gave it a toast. Cause I was told that you're not a real beat boy, but I will go so I went downtown to see how much was the 30 inch new key. Yeah. Yeah. We used to always go to a place called Unity which was a big underground following in Los Angeles. And that's where I got my, you know, my teeth cut, sort of, you know, sort of that's saying. That's where you put your grind yeah, down, put where niggas, grind niggas had to know who you was. Yeah. You, know, was you had to be fresh on the stage, niggas, niggas was taking you You couldn't get on that stage. I went up in there one night, nigga. <laughs> and niggas was at my head, nigga. I'm like, hold on, nigga, wait a minute, nigga. I don't just do this shit for TV, nigga. I do this shit for real. <laughs> but it yeah. was one of those things. It was like a battle zone. It's like, if you was, you know, if you was hard, that's where you made your name and you yeah. made your- The crowd would give it up. Yeah. <coughs> that was dope so, that you went through that. Keep telling yeah. what else, what else? So then, you know, uh, after I put out a couple records, I had the honor of working with brothers like you. You know what I'm saying? That we, that my first real commercial success came with you. 
But you know I heard saying? you. I heard you on a song with Superfly that was like uh, the Windex song. It was like, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. put on the Windex shot. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. niggas flip that shit. <laughs> Welcome back to LA. Niggas perpetrating like they love in LA, but it ain't showing in their video and radio play. So every day I gotta deal with this industry shit. A bunch of so-called heavyweights that scared to get hit. I asked Superfly, I'm like, who's that nigga right there? And he showed me the video with you on the beach with a gang of uh, paparazzi. Uh, by a and shit. I'm like, damn, this nigga a motherfucker. Then he sent me the video with you just mobbing through the city, fucking niggas up. I'm like, oh, what you see? Yeah, I'm like, oh, cuz is hard. I'm fucking with cuz. And that's why I was like, nigga, fly the brain to me, cuz. And it was like, we started working, and then Dr. Dre got a ball of it, and it was just magic. It was meant to be. You understand what I'm saying? That's what the West Coast really, really needs right now is the old generation and the young generation to hold hands and not be so separate. It was yeah. no separation back then because remember, you know, you was like the young generation, like exactly. we was like the young generation, and Dr. Dre was willing to open up the door to extend and let us be who we were, not mm -hmm. try to tell us what to do, but let us do what we did. Who are, who are some of your influences, top five, dead or alive? Uh, top five, man, I gotta say, um, you know, Chuck D, of course, mm -hmm. um, Big Daddy Kane, mm -hmm. Rakim, mm -hmm. um, you know, DOC. Yes, sir. Um, mm -hmm. And did I say Ice Cube? Nah, you probably, you no, put him okay. in there, that's five. That's, there we go. that's a real solid five right there, man. That was heavy, that was a real solid five mm -hmm. for my host with the most. X to the motherfucking Z, a.k.a. Mr. Joyner, big time actor slash rapper, <laughs> still rocking out motherfucking gangster hip hop tunes while doing big movies on screen in Hollywood from my hood to your hood. X to the Z, shoot a shout out to somebody out there that you want to give it up to. Yo, check it out. All my motherfucking fans, all my enemies, they're all the same. I love y'all, everybody. Check this out. My new album's called Napalm. It'll be out this year. Check it out. Big Snoop Dogg. Napalm, the album you can, uh, Get more information on the exhibit right here. Here's his Twitter information. Here's his Facebook information. Here's all his shit brought to you by niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Four clips, two heaters, two niggas blowing reefer, bad bitch, bomb diva, pop pills and light chief. You like money? Give you some? Shit, you trying to be a keeper? I'm trying to hit it, then I leave you. Got bitches on my dick like money coming out my penis. The flyest nigga ever. Tell me, have you ever seen this? Fresh on the map from Long Beach on some G shit. D fit a hat. Why would I keep my hood a secret? How you niggas G's will be confessed in the precinct? I keep it gangster, that's the only way to keep it. Shells low, Mac tuck. Shanti's on the black truck. If it ain't add up, I'm strapped in my stacks up. Shells low, Mac tuck. Shanti's on the black truck. If it ain't add up, I'm strapped in my stacks up. Shells low, Mac tuck. Shanti's on the black truck. If it ain't add up, I'm strapped in my stacks up. Every day of my life, I'm out to get it. Money, paper, moolah, spinning, clothes, haters, cavity, bitches. Just a day in the life of a real Nick monster. Every day of my life, I'm out to get it. Money. Church, preach, tabernacle.